Defense Force Insect Armageddon is a great example of why I play games. Sometimes I want an epic storyline, and other times I want to be blown away by graphics, but what always matters at the end of the day is fun. And this game is a lot of mindless, self-aware fun. If you're looking for a cheesy, entertaining, and ridiculous experience, you need look no further than Insect Armageddon. Look sharp, lightning. Bomber spiders inbound. I don't play the Earth Defense Force games for their looks. Insect Armageddon is a definite improvement over the last game in the franchise, but don't expect great graphics. The enemies and environments are repetitive looking, but this is because they throw so much on the screen at once. It's largely forgivable because the shooting is just so much fun, and without the lower fidelity, there's no way they'd be able to swarm you with hordes of enemies. The menus in HUD are still dated looking, but at this point it's kind of fan service. Just like the voice acting, the visuals in the menus of Earth Defense Force feel intentionally tacky. It's obvious from the quips and witty writing that this is not a game that takes itself seriously. That's classified ops. Super duper classified to be precise. This is where Insect Armageddon shines. The shooting controls feel great. Blasting away at hordes of enemies is engaging despite its repetitiveness. Every mission is generally the same, with you moving from point to point and fighting absurd enemies. There's something thrilling about fighting hordes of giant enemies, and this is why the game works. Like a cheesy sci-fi flick, Insect Armageddon revels in its absurdity, challenging you to use crazy powerful weapons to overcome odds that are laughably stacked against you. The big change to the series is the addition of classes. Before each level, you pick a class. Each class can always carry two weapons, but they vary in the amount of health and special powers they have. I think it brings a lot of additional replayability to the levels and makes co-op even more fun. The only downside is that most weapons in the game are now unlocked with experience rather than random item drops. Yes, there are some random items in Insect Armageddon, but a big appeal the last game was the excitement of finding random loot. It's still here, just greatly depreciated. There are only 15 fairly short levels, but there's a lot of reason to keep coming back to EDF. Completing the game once unlocks remixes of the campaign stages, and the gameplay is just such pure, mindless fun that I find myself wanting to play through it on the other difficulties. Besides, higher difficulty levels are the only way to unlock even more powerful and absurd weapons. And of course, there's multiplayer. Up to three players can play online cooperative, six players can play survival mode, and it supports two-player split screen. Just expect some slowdown in performance, especially in split screen. It's not horrible, and to me it kind of adds to the budget charm of EDF, but I can understand it frustrating some players. Insect Armageddon is terribly cheesy in all the right ways. The performance issues it has, especially during split screen, can become annoying at times, but the mindless shooting is simply too fun to keep me from caring all that much. It isn't the best at anything, but it's got a flair for the ridiculous that makes it unique. For more on Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon, go to IGN.com.